I am in Erica. Erica is a little historic town near my area of the world. And I've just come across this. It looks like uh, collections of memories of a railway area era. And it's just amazing. Um, I didn't know this existed. This little town is very historical. As you can see, there's some major old buildings in the distance there. And just people live here. This is their home. Here we go. Let's have a look. Some very historic signage. Giant picture of a train, obviously. I don't know if it was part of this place, but it's pretty reminiscent of a train station. Someone lives here. How cool is this place? Someone has a real taste in old Erica. Even the door looks a big rail, Erica. Big old red booth for a phone. It's even got a phone in it, look at that. That'd be awesome. Bureau of trains, there's no trains of course. <laughs> we'll just walk this way and have a look. There's a sign here that says Hintley Street, Erica to Thompson Rail Trail, more street tours. And so there must be an Erica to Thompson Rail Trail down this way. Might try and ride that one day. We just go for a bit of a walk around the town. Have a look at this place. It's an old rustic place. It's from a, oh, I saw it from a distance, so I thought I'd come up and have a look. It looks like an old school. It looks like they had a sign there. Old school or a police? Nah. It doesn't look like anyone lives here now. We'd love to um love to explore that one. How is it, hey? This guy's so nice. Uh, these this place has been around since about did I say 18. 1840? 1840? So a couple of hundred years nearly. Not the house, but the, the town. It looks like, I don't know. I reckon it was an old school. It could have been an old school. Because this sign here, wouldn't that be a sign to say, like, Erica Primary School or something like that? Or I wouldn't, I don't know. A cop shop? Could have been a cop shop? Yeah, true. When I find out what it is, I'll put a post just here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so we uh, just ran into a nice young lady <laughs> and she just filled us in a bit. Uh, she said, go for a walk down here and you'll see some history. So that's what we're doing now. There's a sign here. This is Erica Mill Park, EDPA ongoing project. So they're re repairing this. And apparently this was the wood mill. Is that what she was saying? They built all the, <clears throat> all the, uh, what do you call it? That supplied all the homes around here. There should be gazebo here somewhere apparently. Or we've gone the wrong way, I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll, we'll keep looking. So she was saying there's a gazebo here, and that looks like it with a bit of history. And you can probably picnic here as well by the look of it. Look at the size of the land here. Must have been a bit of water, a bit of rain here. Oh, is there any? Oh, there's no info. Oh, there's some other thing here. The state sawmill, 1953, 1940s, okay. Forest Commission Victoria opened a state sawmill in Erica in 1940 to 41 to salvage timber from the 1939 bushfire areas. The mill would supply large quantities of fired killed timber from the Thompson Valley and at the same time assist in supplying sawn timber to fulfil urgent defence government orders. The mill was destroyed in 1953 and then was rebuilt in 1954 and then closed in 1966. This is Mill Park and it was down there this area that they actually had the, the mill and that is nothing. I was looking down that hill and I saw a whole bunch of wood and I thought wow there's a lot of wood piled up down there but guess what it's not it's actually railway tracks look at them now what we're standing on is a rail trail this is a I'd say they're developing this for 
uh, bike riders and they're making this so we can enjoy our environment and our world. Uh, in Australia we have massive amounts of bushland but it only covers maybe 20% of Australia and the rest of it's just the rest of it's just desert. So that's the reserve bike park and this is the Erica Mill. That's what it looked like years ago. The area between Head Street and Henty Street. Oh, end of Henry Street and Thompson Valley Road was the site of a state mill operated in the Forest Commission. Yeah, just, we were just talking about that. is a gateway to the Mount Borbor mountains for the snow season and you can hire your chains here when the snow season begins. I wonder if it's still running. Yeah, that's kind of locked. Oh, it's locked. Yeah, no, they wouldn't have any fuel here now. All right, we're heading to the Erica Hotel. Gonna get some beers, I think. So guys, I was just in the uh, the Erica pub and uh, met Katie who owns the place and they're redoing this place and doing it up and make a beautiful little pub. I've never been there and I really love it and hopefully the people around will support people trying to rebuild and make something work for themselves. Alright, Dave's McCormack Deering Rail Tractor. Look at that. Wow, this one just 1931, a long established sawmiller, Warburton, began moving operations to Erica, expanding and build operations temporarily. Away. Okay, this is a, uh, it's just a tractor put on top of a rail for maintenance work. How cool is this? And it obviously, or must have towed the logs on these big. Ah, oh, wow. APM Forest purchased five logging arches from USA around 1950, which included two Hustler, two Pullmans, and then used them to log Thompson Block W42 of the Buller State Forest. And we don't have many trees that are big anymore. They've all been cut down, unfortunately. Harris, New Erica Rail Station. Wow. And look at this, guys. There's actually a caravan park here. You can stay here. Uh, no camping overnight parking in the grounds out there. Obviously, they got a caravan park, you must pay. It's cool. This looks like, a, it says there's a Thompson steam engine, so it's only part of it. It was built by Thompson Co. Castle May Victoria in 1923. It originally used a standby generator for the Melbourne Hospital. Well, I'll be buggered. Imagine what this would have sounded like while it was running. So I've come into this, looks like a picnic area. Got a barbecue over here. There we go. Get a bit of brightness in it. There we go. Got a nice little barbecue area. Uh, guys, if you're going to use these things, I've been warned by my kids. I didn't do it when I was a kid. But apparently, never use them. Apparently they pee on them. If you want to come out here, guys, there's walking tracks, mountain bike, rail trails, rail trails for normal bikes, really. Uh, there are places to see, good little places to check out that are historic, and there's really, really great photo opportunities.
Now hang on, it says Mundara Cemetery. This site for the cemetery was gazetted in the country of Tanjil Parish of Mundara in 1888, now commonly known as Erica Cemetery, the earliest headstone 1898 at the Archie Matheson for whom the road is named. There are a number of unmarked unknown graves in the cemetery. But where's yeah. the cemetery? 